Hi, I'm Jennifer McHugh, and I work at Nemours Alfred I. DuPont Hospital for Children. I'm really excited to be a part of Wilmington's Earth and Arbor Day celebration. We know that riding a bike instead of driving your, your car can really help the environment, but it's important to make sure you know how to be safe when you're riding your bike. So I have a story that I wanna share with you to help us learn about bike safety. The name of the story is called The Safety Champs Wild West Adventure. Meet the Safety Champs, ordinary kids just like you. Their leader, Chance, has a magic pair of sunglasses that take them on amazing adventures where they explore new worlds and learn important safety tips. The Safety Champs are Taylor, Gina, Chance, and remember, he's the owner of those magic sunglasses, Kendra and Pat. And they're getting ready to ride to their friend's birthday barbecue at the lake. Taylor, wait, you forgot your helmet. Oh no. Wow, you're lucky you didn't hit your head. You shouldn't ride your bike without a helmet. Even if your bike ride is a great adventure, you still need to be safe. Let's check out my magic sunglasses to see what I mean. Now remember the magic sunglasses help them learn about safety and it also transforms them into an adventure into a new world. So now they're going back into the wild west. Howdy partners, looks like the birthday barbecues over yonder around the other side of the lake. We need to get there while the grub's still hot and the ice cream's still cold. Let's check our gear, saddle up, and get riding. But first Chance asks, why do I wear a helmet? Think about that. Where does your helmet go? On your head, right? So wearing a helmet protects your head. Now, can you lightly knock on your head? Is it hard or soft? I think it's pretty hard. It's a bone there. The name of your head bone is called the skull bone. And the skull bone, it's not as big and thick as your leg bone, so it's thinner, but its job is to protect what's inside our head, which is what, does anybody know? If you said your brain, that's the right answer. So really we wear a helmet to protect our head and our brain. Now that you know why I wear a helmet and why you should, let's meet my good friends, Eggie and Peggy. I have Eggie and Peggy with me today. Would you like to meet them? They're right here. This is Eggie and this is Peggy. Now, do they look the same? They should because they're twin sisters. Now, you may say this isn't really a person, right? These are eggs. But an egg is a lot like our head and our brain that we talked about earlier. What does an, an egg have that's hard on the outside, but not very thick, just like our skull bone. If you said a shell, that's the right answer. Now what's inside an egg that's soft and squishy, kind of like our brain? If you said the yolk or the actual egg, that's the right answer. So an egg is a lot like our head that we talked about. Now, Eggie and Peggy are twin sisters and they go to the same school and one time I went to their school to teach them about bike safety and how important it is to always wear a bike helmet. But that day that I went to their school, Aggie wasn't feeling well and she stayed home. So she never learned why it was so important to always wear a helmet. But her sister Peggy went to school that day and would never get on a bike without a helmet. Should we see what happens to them? Let's put Peggy away for a second and we'll talk about Eggie first. So here's Eggie. Now remember, she wasn't feeling well that day and never learned why it was so important to always wear a helmet and protect our head and our brain. And one day, it was a beautiful day. She wanted to go for a bike ride. She got on her bike, but what didn't she wear? A helmet, no helmet for Eggie. She was riding down the road and all of a sudden a dog ran out in front of her. She swerved not to hit the dog, 
but she hit the curb and crashed. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Do you see Eggy? Do you think that her skull bone cracked? And do you even see a little bit of brain? Right? Now, do you think if she had a helmet on, that would have protected her head and kept her safe? Well, let's see. So I'm gonna put Eggie in the Eggie Hospital. We'll see if they can fix her up. And let me tell you about Peggy. So let me get her. Now remember, Peggy went to school that day that I taught her about how important it was to always wear a helmet. So she decided to go for a bike ride, but she would never get on a bike without a helmet. So I have a very special helmet for Peggy. So let's put her in her helmet. And we gotta make sure it's on nice and snug. All right, nice and snug. So she was riding down the road and can you believe it? That same dog ran out in front of her. She swerved not to hit the dog, but hit the curb and crashed. Uh-oh. Should we take a look at Peggy? What do you think? You think she's gonna look like her twin sister, Eggie, after her crash? I sure hope not. she looks any different, do you? Do you see any cracks on her head? Why do you think she doesn't look like her twin sister, Eggie, after her crash? She had a helmet on, right? So the helmet protected her skull bone and her brain. Now, do you ever know when a dog's going to run in front of you? No, so you, every time you're on your bike, you have to wear a helmet. Even if it, you're just in your driveway, you never know if a squirrel might run out in front of you or you run over a rock and you get in a crash. So every time you're on your bike, always have a helmet on because you never know when you might need it. Wow, now I will always wear my helmet when I'm riding my bike. Great. It's also important to make sure your helmet fits you correctly. So let's check your helmet. We wanna make sure that your forehead is covered and protected by your helmet. So your forehead is right above your eyebrows. And we wanna make sure that's protected because you have some brain right here, right behind your forehead. We also wanna make sure that the strap is buckled and it shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to fit more than two fingers in between your chin and the strap. So it's nice and snug. So when you're riding your bike, wearing a helmet is the most important thing you can do to protect your brain. But what other safety equipment do you think Chance should wear when he rides his bike? So let's go through each of our options and you let me know if we should put it on Chance before he goes for his bike ride. So the first choice is a life vest. Would that be something good to wear when you're on your bike? Yes or no? No, that's for if you're on a boat, right? How about pads? No, that's for if you're playing football. What about elbow pads? Yes, that would be a good choice for when you go on your bike. So let's put them on chance. What about shin guards? No, that's not a good choice. That's for soccer or other sports, right? What about knee pads? Yes, that would be a good choice. Let's put them on chance. How about a mouth guard? Would he use a mouth guard if he's riding his bike? No. What about a helmet? Now this one might be tricky. Some of you might have said yes, and some of you might have said no. So we know wearing a helmet is the most important thing to do, right? But is this the right kind of helmet for Chance if he's on his bike? No, this is for football. Now, if you were playing football, would you wear a bike helmet? No. So there's many kinds of helmets. 
we want to make sure that you're wearing the right helmet that matches the activity that you're doing. So Chance has a white helmet on, so he looks all ready to go riding. Now that we have all our safety gear on, we need to make sure that our bikes are safe. So let's check our tires. We wanna make sure they're full of air and the treads aren't worn. So what could happen if there isn't enough air in our tires? Are we gonna be able to ride anywhere? Nope. So let's see how to check the tires. So to check your tires to make sure they're full of air, what we're gonna do is press down on each tire. So as I press down, it should be really hard. Now, do you see how the tire goes in? That means that we need to add some air to this tire. And we also want to check the front tire. So see how that's pretty hard? I can't push down any. That has enough air. So we want to make sure we add some air to the back tire. The next thing on the tires that you want to check are the treads. The treads are all these little bumps all on the tire. We want it to be really bumpy because that's what grips the road as you're riding and braking. So you want to make sure it's nice and bumpy. If it's really, if your tires are really smooth, you want to get new tires. We also want to make sure that our seats are tight. So grab your seat and give it a shake. What could happen if our seat is loose? We could fall right off our bike. So let's check this seat, this bike and make sure the seats are nice and tight. So the next thing we're gonna check is the seat. We wanna make sure that it's nice and tight. So you're just gonna grab the seat, give it a tug, make sure it doesn't move. We wanna make sure it's nice and tight. Now that we know our seat is tight, Let's make sure the handlebars are tight too. What could happen if the handlebars are loose? So the handlebars control our steering, where we're going. So it's really important that they work. Let's see how to check them. We also wanna make sure the handlebars are tight. To check the handlebars, I'm gonna stand with my feet on each side of the front tire and give the handlebars a shape. Make sure they're nice and tight also. Let's make sure our chain is snug on the tracks and there's no rust. To check the chain, don't touch it because it's really dirty. Just use your eyes. Look, make sure that it's on the track nice and snug. It's not hanging off. We also wanna make sure that you don't see any orange or brown where there could be some rust. It's important to check your brakes and make sure they're working correctly too before you ride. What could happen if our brakes don't work? So that could be really dangerous, right? We want to make sure they work when we need them, especially when a dog runs out in front of us or we need to slow down to keep us safe. Let me show you how to check those. Now we're gonna check the brakes. Some of you may have brakes on the handlebars where you squeeze them and the brakes come on. Now this bike has the brakes on the pedal. So instead of pedaling forward, you pedal backwards and the brakes come on. So to test the brakes, we're gonna press backwards on the pedal and try to push the bike forward. If you can't move it forward, it means your brakes are working. Let's take a look at our spokes and make sure they're not bent. Then we're almost ready to ride. The spokes on your bike are these metal pieces right here on the tire. Just use your eyes, look, make sure they're not bent, hanging off. We want to make sure they're all attached. And don't forget the front spokes also. Now that our bikes are safe to ride, we need to make sure we're wearing proper clothing. Sneakers that are tight tight and pants that aren't too baggy because they can get caught in the chain or the pedals and no flip-flops. Now let's ride. 
So let's see how much you've learned so far. Can you find anything wrong with this picture? So let's start with the, um, the rider on the green bike. See if you see anything wrong in that, with that rider. If you said she forgot her helmet, good job. How about the blue bike rider? Anything wrong with that, with the bike or the rider? If you notice his back tire is flat, so he didn't check his bike, right? How about Chance in the red bike? Anything wrong? He forgot to buckle his helmet. You gotta make sure it's buckled so it stays on your head in a crash. How about Kendra in the yellow bike? She has flip-flops on, so we said they weren't a good choice for, um, for shoes when you're riding a bike. And how about the purple bicycle rider? He forgot to tie it, make sure his shoelaces are tied so they could get caught in the pedals or in the spokes of the bike. Okay, partners, we're almost there. We've made it safely so far. So which route do you think is the safest? So our options are route one. So we could go this way. It looks a little longer. Remember that ice cream is gonna start to be melting. We wanna get there. Or we could go route two over this cliff and get there really quick. Which do you think is the safest? So if you said route one, good job. There is never anything safe about going over a cliff on your bike. So sometimes being safe may take a little bit longer, but it's better to get there a little bit late than maybe um, get hurt and not even be able to make it to the, park, the birthday barbecue. So let's go get some cake and ice cream. Chance and the safety champs have arrived safely to their friend's birthday party. Thanks to Chance's magic sunglasses, the gang learned how to be safe while riding their bikes. Adventure and safety go hand in hand. Well, I hope you enjoyed the Safety Champs Wild West Adventure story, and I wish you safe bike riding.